Hey guys, uh, this is Dodi. So in this video we are going to talk about file.readallbytes, which is a function that allows you to read a binary file. And binary files or um, files like program files, um, some, you know, if you decided to store some images in binary format in your database. So these are uh, the kind of files you could read, but yeah, if you any file that you really store on a computer, you can read uh, using this function. So what you get yeah, are the bytes that are stored in that image, which is pretty much the raw uh, uh, information that's that's in that file. So here I have a text file, which we've worked with before. So all we're going to do here is just get the bytes from that file. So first, let's make a call to the function. So instead of writing another function, uh, you already know to handle your exception. So let's do that here. Let's do var bytes. Just make the call to the function file that read read all bytes and give it the path okay now let's simply print a range of the bytes in the for loop let's just print 10 up Bytes. Okay, now let's see what we got. Okay, these are the bytes, the first ten bytes of that file. And that's not very telling about the information you're getting from the file. So what we could do, because I know this was uh, the encoding for that file was UTF-8 and it's a text file, I can just convert that into UTF-8 format and read the file myself. So let's just get text. Okay, and the way we do that is just get the encoding and then get the string. string and what we're doing from the bytes. Okay, now we can simply print the text. Okay, now let's print that out and see what we get. We should get our file back. And this is the contents of the file. This was a pretty short tutorial. Again, read all bytes is a function that allows you to read the byte data of a binary file or any file that you can store on a computer. Because usually the way it's stored is the bytes information that's stored. So, um, you get uh, that function from the fire class which you find that those uh, uh, system that I own space the encoding that we used here is UTF-8 to pull the uh, text information out of the bytes array and you know this is what you would do if you had stored a picture this is what you would do if you had stored uh, some other kind of uh, uh, some other kind of file uh, what you would do is convert that file from, you know, from bytes to the whatever encoding that uh, uh, that it's meant to be used in. Uh, again, uh, subscribe if you uh, want to see more of these uh, videos.
if you've got questions just uh, send them my way